Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Today, as you can see, we are going to do some book tracing together with some books that I have in my own library and that I think have a very wonderful, wonderful cover. So, let's start with the first one, which you might know. It's called Fourth Wing. And it has this beautiful decoration all around. Here we have a dragon flying in the sky. And here we have another one in the middle. We have some dots. This one looks like a star. And then there are some clouds. all around and some lines which might be the light and then here we have the way the sentence graduate or die I have actually read this book and I liked it, even though I think it's a bit over, 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 overvalued. Yeah, I liked the story. I didn't quite enjoy the style, but let me know. Let me know in the comments if you have written, well, not written, of course, if you have read it, okay? The next one, the next one is the sequel to Fourth Wing and it was gifted to me as a Christmas present and it's called Iron Flame here we have a similar pattern with a square on top of the circle. There are a lot of clouds, some dots as well, some stars or suns. We have two dragons as well, one black and one white or should I say copper as the rest of the cover. The sentence is burn it down and I do not have read it already. I am curious to find more about it and to see whether my opinion will go or down, 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 down. Then we have the next one. This is another Christmas present. The books I'm gonna show you are all Christmas presents. And this is called Castles in their bones. Castles in their bones. I don't know if you 
ever heard about this one we have a beautiful girl on the cover with pink lips sky blue eyes and soft very light blonde hair which are tied in a very nice braid braid i'm sorry <laughs> on top of her head and the sentence says born to rule raised to deceive i'm very curious to read about this one and let me know if you knew it or if you have read it and what you think about it next one is a book called twin crowns twin crowns we have two beautiful girl faces with long flowy hair and a crown there is another one here one has a sun and one has a moon and then there is a beautiful very stunning decoration of flowers and plants and leaves so beautiful so 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 beautiful this one is actually in italian here it says due gemelle separate dalla nascita un solo trono chi otterrà il potere e la corona which in english would be two twins separated at birth just one throne who will have the power and the crown i am very very curious to read this book as well because i have a sister myself so i'm very mm, I'm very keen to read anything about siblings. Okay, so this one was a gift as well. I consider it a Christmas gift, but it was gifted to me by one of you sweet, sweet sleepy beans. You may know this one, even though this edition is in Italian, because it's a special edition made for the Mondadori Publishing House, which is one of the biggest publishing houses in Italy. But it's the complete series of the folk. of the air and here we have the cover with the branches the dry branches of the first volume which is the cruel prince with the crown This is a very beautiful edition. Let me just show you. There is this stunning, stunning, stunning drawing of Jude. Let's trace her face, nose, mouth, cunning eyes. 
her hair which are tied up in the shape of two horns her sword it's very beautiful very beautiful and on the other side we have Carden. Carden. I must admit, I didn't quite picture him like this while reading the books. Well, of course, I pictured him with his long black hair. Here he also has a crown of gilded thorns, the pointed ears the earrings, the cunning smile, the eyes, but I figured he would have much softer features, I don't know why. Anyway, these drawings are truly stunning and I really really love this edition. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for gifting me this one. It's so beautiful. Then we have another book that my family gifted me for Christmas. And this one is another very famous one. It's the third fantasy saga from a very famous author. She's called Sarah J. Maas and this particular fantasy saga is called Crescent City Crescent City and this book is House of Heart and Blood and we have the crescent, which gives the name to the book. And there is a column in red with a beautiful female face. And a crow. I cannot wait to read this one, but currently I am reading the Throne of Class saga. I am reading the Queen of Shadows book, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the fifth one in the saga. And I'm loving it. So after that I will read the A Court of Throne and A Rose is a Thorns? No, a court of thorns and roses, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always get confused. And then, after that, I will read this one. The Question City Saga. I don't know if it's pronounced Crescent or Crescent. But, anyway, I cannot wait to read it. To conclude conclude with the last two books they have something in common as you can see because they are the first and the second volume of a saga here we have the first one the the priory of the orange tree the priory of the orange tree with a stunning drawing of a tower and a blue dragon curled all around it and the same design more or less is replicated on the cover of the second book which is titled A Day of 
fallen night and here we have what seems to be a mountain with some trees and pine leaves I guess pine needles and then there is a dragon with some stunning golden details all around these are very beautiful and I also like that there is an equally beautiful back design I haven't read them yet neither of them I actually heard some critical reviews about them but I am willing to find out myself whether I like it or not and I'm really intrigued by the plot so let me know if you have read them or just the Priory of the Orange Tree and what you thought about it okay so I have showed you the books and I hope you enjoyed this calm tracing and I wish you a wonderful day or a wonderful night bye bye